Hey guys, it's James and recently I did a video on how to make the E-Step calibration for the Ender 3. And someone requested that I do one for the cr 10 Pro. So this is the video that's going to do it for the cr 10 Pro. At the time I didn't really include any footage for the cr 10 Pro because I noticed that the E-Step calibration for the cr 10 Pro was actually spot on. And I think this has to do with the uh, the gear that the extruder has and so there was no reason for me to change the e-step calibration as opposed to the ender 3 where i believe that a lot of times there's going to be a slippage in the actual extruder itself so you may have to adjust that so if you do have an ender 3 you can just watch that video here uh, but the procedure is pretty much the same as ender 3 or the cr tennis pro as a matter of fact it's going to be the same for any other printer now if you can you want to use a white filament or a filament that's in lighter color that way you can actually see the marks uh, that you're gonna put on the filament I've actually made two marks one at the 100 millimeter mark and one at the 120 millimeter mark you're basically gonna to have to make the mark again at the 120 millimeter mark um, while you have the filament in your printer However, I'm just gonna show you for illustration. We have the 100 millimeter mark, if you can see right here. And we have the 120 millimeter mark right here. And the reason why we mark it at the 120 millimeter mark instead of the 100 is because if the printer does over extrude, you will not see the 100 millimeter mark because it will be inside the extruder. And that is why we mark it at the 120 millimeter mark and then we subtract that amount to the filament that's left over and then you have the actual extrusion amount. However, we are looking to extrude only up to the 100 millimeter. And if the extruder stops right at the 100 millimeter mark, that is spot on. That means you don't really have to adjust the calibration of the E-steps. Now you can use a ruler or a micro caliper like this. Uh, the one thing good about this micro caliper is that it does have a little rest right here if you look at the end right here there is a little bit of a cutout where you can just rest that area on the extruder itself when you extend it out it does uh, give you a measurement and what you want to do is zero that and if you extend it out to the it's at 120 and then just lock it by turning the screw in place. So from this cutout point right here to here is the 120 millimeter mark. At this point, you can download Pronterface. I'm gonna leave that in the description below so you can go ahead and download that and we'll get started with the calibration. Now you wanna connect your printer via the serial port using the micro USB. On the side of the printer, to your uh, laptop or computer. I'm using a dongle because I do not have enough ports on my laptop. As you can see, the temperature is climbing the, for the extruder. Uh, you want to do this at a temperature that you use. Um, I'm using a 0.8 millimeter nozzle. And that is why I use a uh, temperature of 215. However, if you use a 200 degree to print, that is what you're going to use. Now I'm just adding the white filament so it's easier to see. And I'm just going to squeeze a little bit more out of the printer. There we go. As you can see, it's marked at 120 millimeters. Now, as I said before, I am able to put my micro caliper on the cutout, rest it on the cutout. Okay, there we go.
for the baud rate 250,000 that's what you're going to select and depending on your printer your com port may be different so just uh, make sure you are on the correct com port and as you can see it has an e-step 140 you want to increase your temperature so m104 s215 and as you can see right here there is a bar and graph where the temperature of the extruder is going up and once it hits the 215 degrees right here uh, we'll get started with the extrusion so as you can see it hit the target of 215 degrees type in the command g1 e100 f100 and that's going to extrude 100 millimeters of filament so we're extruding 100 millimeters of filament with the flow speed or extrusion speed of f100 done extruding so I'm gonna take my micro caliper it's a 20.63 millimeter difference again from the 120 and that's about a 0.6 and it's pretty much spot-on I really don't need to change the value of the e-step the 0.6 is not gonna to make too much of a difference whether I change the e-step value or not this is most likely due to an error in me able to just put it spot on or hold the micro caliper spot on so 120 minus the value of 20.63 is 99.37 so it extruded uh, 99.37 rather than the 100 millimeter so it under extruded point uh, six three which is less than a millimeter it really is irrelevant we have an e-step value here of 140 so we'll clear this out we'll do 140 times expected value which was 100 millimeters equals 14,000 and then we'll divide that by the actual extrusion amount which was 99.37 equals 140.8 type in the command m92 e what was that number 140.9 140.9 then we're going to press enter and then we're going to save that command m500 to memory and then what we're going to do is we're going to turn off the printer we're going to disconnect then we're going to turn on the printer again and then we're going to connect once you turn it on it does give you the um, status of all your uh, settings but just in case we will give it the command m503 to check the values and again we have the 140.9 extrusion as you can see it has changed the value so guys if you saw the numbers for my extruder it was from 140 to 140.9 for the e-steps i mean it was less than a millimeter difference um, the only thing is that most likely that error is due to me not being able to hold the micro caliper and make the exact measurements so there is a little bit of that error probably involved now really i don't have to change the 140 to 140.9 e-steps your extruder may be different you may have a huge discrepancy maybe 10 millimeters 20 millimeters who knows 
um, if you have that problem you're gonna have to again change the E steps and repeat the process so you can actually fine-tune your extruder so if it's over the 100 millimeter mark you have an over extrusion and if it's less than the 100 millimeter mark you have an under extrusion so you want to get that extrusion right at the 100 millimeter mark also the formula is the same whether it's an over extrusion or under extrusion the expected amount of filament which is 100 millimeters that you set it at and then you multiply that by the number of e-steps and divide all of that by the actual amount of filament that was extruded i hope you guys found this video helpful please go ahead and subscribe to my channel uh, share this video leave a like and comment uh, let me know what other videos you would like uh, thanks for watching guys